Hey guys, so let's do another one of these geometry problems. If we draw a segment like this and then put a semicircle on that segment and then choose a point at random on the semicircle, it can be any point, it really doesn't matter. And if we connect a chord from here to here and a chord from here to here, then let's draw a semicircle right here. And once again, this point is not gonna matter. And let's draw another semicircle right here. And we can move this point around as well. I think I like the point right here the most, but it's gonna be the same answer wherever we put the point. So if I color the triangle purple and then I color these two outer pieces blue, the blue area is equal to to the purple area. It's always true no matter where we put the dot on here. And let's prove it. Let's make this side A, this side B, and this side C. This is a right triangle right here. So we can say that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We can square root both sides and square root of C squared is just that. So now if C equals this, I'm going to change this C up here into that right there. And let's clean this up. So in order to find the blue area, we're going to take this triangle. We're going to add to it this semicircle, add to it this semicircle, and then we're going to subtract from it this semicircle. And after we do this minus this, it'll give us this piece right here and if we make it blue it looks literally like what we're trying to find so the area of this semicircle right here is going to be one half pi r squared and the whole diameter of the semicircle is a so the radius would be half of a then we're going to add to it this semicircle right here and that's also going to be pi r squared over two and the whole diameter is b so the radius would be half of b so we're going to change this r into a b over two next we want to add this triangle right here the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two if i bring this triangle down and flip it over over, you can see that the base is B and the height is A. So we'll just leave the B as a B, but the H will change that into an A. Now we have all three of these pieces right here. We're going to subtract from them this larger semicircle. Well, it's also going to be a pi r squared over two. Now the diameter of this semicircle is the entire square root of A squared plus B squared. So we want to cut that in half to get the radius. So it's going to be pi r squared over two, where r is all of this craziness. Next step, we want to distribute this two exponent to both the A and the two. So it's going to look like pi a squared over 4 over 2. And then we can bring this 4 down here to join the 2, which will just make it all over 8. Same thing with this one right here. And then we can bring this 4 down with the 2 to make it an 8. We'll just bring this BA over 2 down. And then let's subtract this last piece. We'll put the fraction bar in. And now we need to distribute this 2 to the top and to the bottom. When we distribute it to the numerator, the square root's going to go away. So it's just A squared plus B squared. When we distribute it to the 2, it's 2 squared, which is 4. And the 4 can join the 2 down here to become an 8. And then this pi can distribute to both of these. So we have pi A squared plus pi b squared. These two have a common denominator of 8, so we can join them into a single fraction. This fraction equals this fraction, but this one's being subtracted, so they're just going to get rid of each other. So we're left with b times a divided by 2, and that is the blue area. But if you remember, ba over 2 is also the area of the triangle, so that's also the purple area. So we can conclude that the blue area equals the purple area, and this is why.